Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. In my previous video, I talked to you guys about the Home Assistant Green, what it is, what it isn't, what inside this hefty little enclosure. And if you decided this is the right device for you, you might have the device on its way or already on hand. So what I am going to follow up in this video is to show you how to get started with the Home Assistant, how to log in into Home Assistant. And if you're migrating from an existing Home Assistant instance, onto the Home Assistant Green. I am going to show you how to do it. This will be less of a tutorial, more me taking you along with me for the ride. And almost like anything in Home Assistant, there are several ways to achieve a goal. So if you think I could have done something better, I would love for you guys to let me know in the comment. I always love to learn from the community. So first thing is first, the first thing we need to do is to connect our Home Assistant Green into our network, like so, with a network cable, very basic. Secondly, we need to connect the device into power with a power adapter into the barrel jack, like so. At this point, you can set the device aside, give it two or three minutes to finish, it, to finish its initial boot up. In the meantime, prepare your computer, launch your favorite web browser, and we will pick up the rest of this video from the computer. Join me. All right, guys. So our Home Assistant Green device is powered up and connected to our network and it's time for us to start working and in order to log in to Home Assistant all you need to do is launch your favorite web browser and just type in the address bar just like that Home Assistant colon 8123 now this method is very easy but it sometimes doesn't work especially when the Home Assistant device and the computer are not on the same VLAN for example so what you might uh, want to do is to connect the computer and the home assistant green to the same network or what you can do is to log into your router uh, web interface find the DHCP address that it gave your home assistant device and instead of typing home assistant colon 8123 type the IP address that the home assistant green device got colon 8123 to three, it will take you to exactly the same place. So if you know how to do that, that's a foolproof kind of method. So one more thing before I get started, my Home Assistant Green has already been updated to the latest version currently available, but you might see this video a few months from now. And if you see different kind of design or different uh, colors or different cosmetics, don't worry about it the uh, initial wizard sometimes changes but the overall process and the questions and the process remains exactly the same so don't worry okay let's create my smart home and give your user account a name and also the username itself and give it a password and click create account. Now you have created your user account that you will be at least initially logging in to Home Assistant with. Now you can search, use the search bar or the marker itself to locate your home address. I recommend that you do it, even though you can do it at a later point in time. For now, let's stick with this location right here country let's select United States click on next I'm going to skip on the telemetry data and all uh, home assistant has already found it scanned our subnet and it already found home assistant compatible devices all you have to do right now is click finish and actually this is the home assistant default a dashboard it already took some devices and placed them on the dashboard but if you're a newcomer to home assistant this will be your starting point your journey is just now beginning in home assistant now if you're like me and you want to migrate an existing home assistant instance to your home assistant green at this point in time you will need first of all remember the IP address of your current home assistant instance because as far as I know, when you backup and then restore your installation to your Home Assistant Green, it will reboot 
and it will load with the IP address of your current Home Assistant installation. So uh, make sure to take note of that. And one other thing, it's best practice for your current Home Assistant installation and your new Home Assistant device, if it's Home Assistant Green or otherwise, will be on the same version. So update both of them to the latest version and then go into your current Home Assistant installation. And this is mine. This is actually a test Home Assistant instance, but for all intents and purposes, this is an installation that I want to migrate. All right, so this is my current Home Assistant installation. And what I want to do is to go into settings, system, backups, create a backup. Let's name it full and it will be a full backup. I'm not going given to I'm not going to worry about password protecting it and click on create. Now, depending on the size of your home assistant installation and the number of devices, etc., this might take several seconds or several minutes. Just let it work. I'm going to pause the recording and resume it once the backup has been created. All right. My backup is complete, it, it's 75 megabytes. And what I want to do is to click on it and click on the three dots and download it. We do need a local copy of the backup because we then, sorry, we now, once we've downloaded our backup, we need to go into settings, system and Click on the power button right here, advanced, and shut down your system. The reason we want to shut down the system is because in most cases, when we restore our backup onto the new device, it will reboot and it will load and it will come back online with the IP address of the current server. Now, I have seen cases where it's not the case. The, I've seen cases where the backup is be, has been restored, but the IP address of the new server is not changed. But regardless, as a safety measure, shut down your current Home Assistant installation. And let's go back to our new Home Assistant device. Go into Settings, System, Backup. Click on the three dots right here and Upload Backup. Select our backup file and click on restore, click on restore. At this point in time, Home Assistant will load in all the data it got from the backup file. It will reboot and it may or may not load with the IP address of your uh, quotes old Home Assistant installation. So the only way we can verify is give it several minutes to finish the uh, restoration process and to load up and we'll see which IP address uh, replies to our pings. All right, guys, I have loaded up a command prompt or PowerShell because I do want to run ping to the IP address where my quotes old server used to have. And as you can see, it's not replying back. So let's ping the IP address of the new Home Assistant green device and let's see if it still replies. It does reply. So it tells me that my Home Assistant IP address has not changed. But let's see if the restoration process at least or the migration process has completed. Let's open up a new tab. Type the IP address we got from DHCP. All right, guys, uh, uh, just a, a quick note for me. It took uh, another reboot of the Home Assistant Green to make it, uh, uh, maybe it was stuck on something, I don't know. Once I rebooted it once again, I mean unplug it from power and plug it back in. Now, if I type the IP address I got from DHCP and the HTTPS port I used on my old device. It seems to uh, respond and I can log in into Home Assistant. Now, keep in mind, this is already running on my Home Assistant green. 
with the user with the user account that was that existed in my old Home Assistant installation. So that's already a good sign. All right. So looks like that everything existed on my old Home Assistant server was migrated to my Home Assistant green. The IP address didn't change, but I can always go into settings and change the IP address back to what it was. If I got, if you got some, I don't know, port forwarding rules that that rely on the Home Assistant having a certain IP address. If we we'll go into our devices and integrations, we can see that all the integrations are indeed existing in uh, our new Home Assistant server, minus uh, a pie hole integration that I might need uh, to fix later. But otherwise, it looks like that everything was migrated and we are now live on our Home Assistant green. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a like, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in, in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.